It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you'll no doubt know of a mansion that's in your town that's been left empty for reasons that are quite unknown, but speculations run high. Today we sneak into a few of those empty mansions and find out why nobody wants to buy them. Here are 18 mansions no one wants to buy for any price. The Mud House, Ohio It's not quite clear when this Ohio mansion was built. Some will tell you the 1840s, while others will say the 1900s. Regardless of when it went up, right now it's empty and here's why. One theory suggests that a government official was hiding slaves in the house and that one slave escaped and claimed the lives of the official's entire family. Another tale says the original home belonged to Bloody Mary, who now roams the hallways along with the souls of her children. It's not currently for sale, but with those stories circulating, no one will want to buy them. La Lorie Mansion, Louisiana Described as one of the most haunted houses in New Orleans, the La Lorie Mansion used to belong to Nicolas Cage. It's not massive like some of the mansions on our list with only six bedrooms and bathrooms, but there are many stories that are attached to this place. Many that have been inside the house have claimed that they heard chains clanking and that previous slaves still roam the hallways, their souls never having been able to rest from the dreadful ruling of a previous mistress. Cage had to drop the price of the house drastically before it was eventually picked up by a daring buyer in 2010 at well below its proper value. Stonewalled Mansion, New Jersey This gorgeous home has no haunted past, yet despite its fairy tale appearance, hasn't been able to attract any interest in years. It's still in the market now for $39.9 million, and you can view it on iMoCoach. This mansion was built on the estate of Henry Clay Frick II, grandson of Henry Clay Frick. It includes a home theater, wine cellar, and garage space for 11 cars. Linwood Hall, Pennsylvania Built in 1897 by Horace Trumbauer, this 110-room mansion could be yours if you had the $17.5 million to spare. It sits on 34 acres and there's a lot of potential for this property, currently owned by the Korean Church of New York. The mansion is sadly falling apart and anyone who decides to make this extreme purchase will have to shell out as much as $50 million to fix it up. Annual property taxes on the property amount to $146,240, so it's an additional huge expense every year. House Sion Hall, New York Originally built as a luxury hotel in 1893, House Sion Hall became Bennett College in 1907, which operated through 1978. A brave person purchased the place in 2014 and had intended to break it down, but to date, that hasn't happened. The problem is that the longer the place is left untouched, it will become more derelict and more of a challenge to sell. This property is struggling with some property rights issues, which are proving costly for the current owners. When they decide to sell, it won't be an easy one. Bannerman Castle, New York Bannerman Island was purchased by Francis Bannerman in 1900. This Scottish immigrant used the castle to store his vast amounts of artillery, which was his business. In 1918, two years after his passing, 200 tons of the ammunition exploded, destroying part of the castle. Things got worse in 1969 when a fire destroyed the floors and the roof. The only ferry that used to take people to this island sank in a storm and in 2009, more of the building collapsed. The island has been empty for decades and seems to be cursed with bad energy. Not a great selling point for any castle. Hiram B. Scoot Mansion, Illinois this beautiful Victorian-style home was built in 1889 by James Weiss, and tragically, many who had taken occupation of the home have succumbed to early passings. Coincidence? Possibly, but for many years, many were willing to chance it. A brave soul has since purchased the property, but both he and the real estate agent claim to feel strange vibes when inside the mansion. Doubt he'll be sleeping tight tonight. The Lai Family Mansion, Taiwan Built in 1929, this family mansion also goes by the name of Min Ziang Ghost House for the superstitious. It was originally built for a family of eight, and the entire family abandoned the mansion during the 1950s, and nobody knows why they left so suddenly. There is, of course, a story that many like to tell, which would explain the sudden move. The maid that worked in the home was besotted by the owner of the home, and when he didn't reciprocate the feelings, she drowned herself in the well. This brought bad luck to the mansion and the family, and they left to get away from the negativity and start again. Chow Ne No. 81, China Beijing is home to Chao Ne No. 81, a mansion that was completed in 1910, and its original purpose was to serve as a church for British residents living in Beijing. A high-ranking nationalist official was living there, and he reportedly deserted his wife or concubine, details are sketchy, and she was so distraught that she claimed her own life, and locals believe that it's haunted. That might explain why there's no buyers. Swananoa Mansion, Virginia James H. Dooley was a railroad millionaire who built this beautiful home for his wife in 1912. It's been described as an Italian Renaissance revival villa, and after their passing, the 52-room home was converted into a country club for a short spell, 
then leads to a scientist couple who stayed there until they passed on too. At one point, the mansion was home to a moonshine distillery. Strangely enough, the place has been empty since 1988. In 2014, the mansion was listed for sale for 20 million, but there were no takers. The mansion is currently owned by shareholders, and you can pay the deteriorating mansion a visit for yourself. Anne Starrett Mansion, Washington. This Victorian gem used to be an inn, but is now allegedly haunted by its past owners, Anne and George Starrett. As if their spirits aren't enough, the spirit of their child's nanny also haunts the mansion. She's rather good at making pictures fall, switching lights on and off, or knocking people on their heads. For 12 years, realtors try to sell the mansion with the view of converting it into a five-star boutique hotel, but that hasn't come into fruition. The mansion was eventually sold to Christian and Seema Andrews, who plan to use it as their private residence. Reports on the haunting all suggest that the spirits who roam the halls all love the place so much that they never wanted to leave. Why it took so long to sell remains unclear, but hopefully the Andrews will bring it back to its former glory. Cambus Nethin House, Scotland over in North Lanarkshire is this gorgeous castle that was completed in 1820 and built for the Lockhart family. The entire castle was built to their exact requirements, right down to the family crest which is still evident over the entry into the castle and on every baluster of the staircase. The crest is an image of a lock and a heart after their surname. There is a legend that tells the tale of this family's ancestors having carried the heart of Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, back from the Holy Land. No one has occupied the castle since 1984 since its condition has deteriorated so badly, it's just too dangerous. Pidursky Castle, Ukraine Originally built as a leisure house, this ginormous castle belonged to a high-ranking Polish military commander. It was built between 1635 and 1640, and the palace gardens were said to be breathtaking. There are also two churches on the grounds as well. During the 20th century, the palace underwent a massive restoration, and the owners converted it into a museum. The Lviv Historical Museum took over the castle, and it was eventually given to the Lviv Art Gallery, who are struggling with the funds to renovate the castle properly. The cost to repair this building is astronomical and throw in a few ghosts and you have a castle that will remain unsellable for many years to come. Hampton Lillibridge House, Savannah It's been called the most haunted house in Savannah, and the entire house was moved to its current location by a local restoration expert. During reconstruction, workers witnessed a man dressed all in black staring eerily from a window. Odd noises were reported, and various ghost sightings have been reported by visitors. The house was originally on the market for $2.9 million, but now the asking price is a mere $500,000 and it's yet to be purchased. The Kreischer Mansion, Staten Island Standing empty on Staten Island is this gorgeous Victorian mansion, and it's empty because it was the scene of an actual crime, and of course, it's haunted. Ironically, the road that the house is situated on is called Arthur Kill Road. If that wasn't enough to steer away the potential buyer, maybe this will. The house was also built during the mid-1800s, and the owner, Bethalzar Kreister, had a huge success with brickworks in the area. He built twin mansions for two of his sons on top of Kreischer Hill, but departed Earth soon after. After that, one brick factory burnt down to nothing, and the blow was so great that one of the sons ended his life in the mansion. The other was destroyed during the Depression. Stories have stuck around about this house, and no one has stayed there very long. An actual crime took place there in 2005. The caretaker was reportedly paid a great sum of money to carry out a hit, cutting the remains to pieces and burning them in the basement furnace. Suffice to say, no one wants to buy it and it's empty to this day. The Perkins House, West Virginia Over in Charlestown, this six-bedroom, six-bathroom mansion is yours for a song. The house is linked to abolitionist John Brown, as it's here that he was executed. He was convicted of treason in 1859, and this was said to be a pivotal point in American history. The mansion is worth $1.6 million, but the dotted line is yet to be signed as the spirit of Brown is said to still haunt the property today. Allen Mansion, Wisconsin This mansion has been standing since 1885 and it belonged to the wealthy Allen family. The owner was found in the parlor, no longer breathing. It's been said to function as a nursing home, a furniture store, and a bed and breakfast. The owners of the guest house tried to sell the house in 2008, but they took it off the market when they were unable to sell it, despite the constant lowering of the price. Rumor has it that the ghost of the original owner still haunts the hallways. Before we wrap things up with number one, would a haunted or cursed house be enough to put you off snapping up the bargain of the century? Let us know in the comments. Up Down Court, England. 103 rooms over 58 acres are what makes up this surreal mansion located in Surrey, England. In 2005, it was the most expensive private home on the market, with the listed sale price being $138 million. The home has exquisite gardens, an infinity pool, and in addition, four other pools, a squash court, tennis court, bowling alley, panic room, cinema, and a heated marble driveway. But wait, there's more! 
It boasts an underground garage, a gymnasium, indoor football pitch, gallery, and equestrian yard. It took over six years for this house to sell. The reason? It's so expensive to maintain that the house is not an investment at all. Neighbors include Elton John, Sarah Duchess of York, and Brian May. If you don't know him from Queen, you'll know him from Top Gear.